I'm William Cooper, and this is the Hour of the Time. Make sure you have pen and paper again ready with you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because once again, we're going to be covering some uh, highly unusual information. So uh, pay attention, because uh, this is one of those nights in your continuing education on the lost life. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. This according to the Thelemic order of the Golden Dawn. At the very top of their emblem, ladies and gentlemen, is the symbol of the rose. There is now established in the world a new order of the Golden Dawn. It is a magical, religious, scientific order dedicated to the teachings of Aleister Crowley. The principal function of the new order is to assist in the initiation of aspirants into the magical life of Thelema. It is a magical order of the new aeon, wherein men and women, by the essential aids of science and religion, can participate in the great work of Thelema. The new order of the Golden Dawn is called in the Latin tongue Novus Ordo Aurora Aurea. It is also called the order of the Thelemic Golden Dawn. The Golden Dawn now embraces and upholds the law of Thelema and seeks to extend that law in the world to establish the new kingdom of Horus upon earth. The rising god of the new temple is Horus, the crowned and conquering child of the new Aeon. Born from the past, Aeons of Isis and Osiris, the old temple has been transformed into a new temple for our Lord Horus to indwell. That the great work of the new aeon may be accomplished in his name. Love is the law, love under will. Those of you who have been listening to this broadcast for quite some time will have no trouble interpreting what I just read. Those of you who have not probably think it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but I can assure you that it has the utmost importance for your future well being and the future freedom of your children and grandchildren. Aeon, as you know, means age in the Greek. So new aeon means new age. It is the magical order of the new age. Wherein men and women, by the essential aids of science and religion, meaning their religion, can participate in the great work of Thelema. And for all practical purposes, you could just leave off of the Lima, <laughs> because the great work is, after all, the great work. Seeks to extend that law in the world to establish the new kingdom of Horus. Who is Horus? Horus, ladies and gentlemen, is the full body of initiates upon earth. The rising god of the new temple is Horus. Now, do you understand what that means? The rising god of the new temple is Horus, the full body of the adepts, the initiates of the secret orders, the crowned and conquering, conquering child of the new aeon, meaning new age, born from the past aeons of Isis and Osiris, meaning that they have learned from the mistakes of the past and they intend to exert their influence and control over the world. They say the old temple has been transformed into a new temple for our Lord Horus to indwell. Now, if you understand what that means, it means that man is God. The Lord Horus, the full body of adepts, the only truly mature minds endowed to rule upon this earth. And that the great work, the accomplishment of the bringing in of the new totalitarian socialist order of the new age may be accomplished in his name. Whose name? Horus's name. Who is Horus? Well, 
I said it three times. If you didn't catch it, I don't know how else to tell you, ladies and gentlemen.